Sarojini Naidu, born February 13, 1879, died March 2, 1949. Achievements She was the first Indian woman to become the President of the Indian National Congress and the first woman to become the Governor of a state in India. Sarojini Naidu was a distinguished poet, renowned freedom fighter and one of the greatest orators of her time. She was famously known as Bharatiya Kokila, the Nightingale of India. Saraj Naidu was the first Indian woman to become the President of the Indian National Congress and the first woman to become the Governor of a state in India. Saraj Naidu was born on February 13, 1879. Her father, Agurina Chattopadhyay, was a scientist and philosopher. He was the founder of the Nizam College, Hyderabad. Sarojini Naidu's mother, Bharata Sundari Devi, was a poetess and used to write poetry in Bengali. Sarojini Naidu was the eldest among the eight siblings. One of her brothers, Birendranath, was a revolutionary and other brother, Harindranath, was a poet, dramatist and actor. Sarojini Naidu was a brilliant student. She was proficient in Urdu, Telugu, English, Bengali and Persian. At the age of 12, Saraj Naidu attended national fame when she topped the matriculation examination at Madras University. Her father wanted her to become a mathematician or a scientist, but Saraj Naidu was interested in poetry. She started writing poems in English. Impressed by her poetry, Nizam of Hyderabad gave her scholarship to study abroad. At the age of 16, she travelled to England to study first at King's College London and later at Girton College Cambridge. There she made famous laureates of her time such as Arthur Simon and Edmund Goss. It was Goss who convinced Sarojini to stick to Indian themes, India's great mountains, rivers, temples, social milieu to express her poetry. She depicted contemporary Indian life and events. Her collections, The Golden Threshold, 1905, The Bird of Time, 1912, and The Broken Wing, 1912, attracted huge Indian and English readership. At the age of 15, she met Dr. Govinda Rajalu Naidu and fell in love with him, a non brahmin and a doctor by profession. After finishing her studies at the age of 19, she married him during the time inter-caste marriages were not allowed. It was a revolutionary step but Sarojini's father fully supported her in this endeavor. Saraj Naidu had a happy married life and had four children, Jai Surya, Padmaj, Randhir and Laila Mani. Saraj Naidu joined the Indian National Movement in the wake of partition of Bengal in 1905. She came into contact with Gopal Krishna Gokhale, Ravindana Tagore, Annie Besant, C. P. Ramaswamy Iyer, Gandhiji and Jawaharlal Nehru. She organed the women of India. She brought them out of the kitchen. She travelled from state to state, city after city and asked for the right of women. She re-established self-esteem within the women of India. In 1925, Sarah Naidu presided over the annual session of Indian National Congress at Kanpur. Sarah Naidu played a leading role during the civil disobedience movement and was jailed along with Gandhiji and other leaders. In 1942, Sarah Naidu was arrested during the Quit India movement and was jailed for 21 months with Gandhiji. She shared a very warm relationship with Gandhiji and used to call him Mickey Mouse. After independence, Saraj Naidu became the governor of Uttar Pradesh. She was India's first woman governor. Saraj Naidu died in office on March 2nd, 1949. So let's learn a poem of such a great and renowned poet.